Tinubu's loyalist and popular Fuji musician, Wasu Ayinde, popularly known as Kwam One, laments hardship under a lie. Says Nigerians are crying. No, they never say anything. She, this Kwam One was singing for Tinubu and telling Nigerians to give Tinubu a chance that he had a solution to Nigerian situation and said everything, you know, very tribalistic and against other, other, other ethnic groups. Okay, now the music don't change. The song has changed. He's singing a different song now. He's crying now, saying Nigerians are crying, but he's the person that started crying first. Now be some more She now so now one time. Now never see anything. Tinubu is doing well. Get ready for second base. Hmm. Wasi Ayinde, who is well known as a strong loyalist, loyalist of President Tinubu, is seen crying during a live performance while thinking about how Tinubu's performance has disappointed Nigerians so far. Never see anything. Popular Fuji musicians are in the Mashal, popularly known as Kwam One or K1 the Ultimate, has lamented the current economic hardship that President Bola Tinubu's government has subjected Nigerians to within his first eight months in office. Washia Yinde, who is well known as a strong loyalist of President Tinubu, is seen crying during a live performance while singing about how Tinubu's performance had disappointed Nigerians so far. The veteran singer said Tinubu <coughs> was supported because they thought he would save Nigeria from the mess the previous administration had, ha, had made, but that unfortunately Nigerians are suffering. He said, Dear Nigerians, I said, I said, make I greet you. I have told you that if Tinubu assumed office, we citizens would be blessed. I said, the poor will have money. God would answer people's prayers. It is true. I know Asivaju can do it. But my leader, see what people are saying now. The citizens are suffering now. Please find something to do about it. Fuel and the dollars have become expensive in the country. People earning salaries cannot use it for anything meaningful. Okay? <laughs> but I know, Ashwaju, my leader, that you have pity. You are blessed by God before you decide to be Nigerian president. But please find something to do about Nigeria's problem. The citizens are crying. They are willing. The sufferness and the struggle is getting too much. You never see anything. The singer also pleaded with Tinubu not to be carried away by deception. He urged him to listen to the willing of the citizens and immediately find lasting solutions plight, uh, to the plight of Nigerians. So he continued, there is no light. Why did it turn this way? Please, let's find solutions to these problems. Please don't pay deaf ears to people's willies and their struggles. Nigerian people are vexed. The businessmen in this country are also businessmen in this country are also very angry. See what dollars turned into. The issue of kidnapping in Nigeria is now something else. Hmm. Sarah reporters have also reported how the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Afman Nambra, State Governor Peter B, said that President Tinubu should be in the Guinness World Record for causing Nigerians the most hardship ever. Untold hardship. Okay. <laughs> so this Kwam One now has seen the other side. All of them are crying. It is just the beginning. It's only God that can turn things around. Tinubu did not go there to solve Nigerian problem. He went there because it is turn to be president. He feels he has made people and it is time for him to be there. And that is why he is there. So he's there for his own glory, I'm pretty sure. Because from day one, he made announcement without knowing the implication, without weighing the implication. And up to now, he's still making economic decisions that are very, very inimical to the society and to the citizens. And I tell you, it's not getting better. And he himself does not seem to know what he's doing. Rather, he's just touring around the world, enjoying his life. His own is enjoying his life. That is the truth. There is practically nothing with anybody seeing that is going to do. Hmm. This is serious, so it's not a joke. It's not a joke. It's not a joke at all. So now let me see some comments. Um, 
Somebody say, Quam is crying now when the free money is no longer flowing in the society of uh, Awalawambe. <laughs> Awalawambe. Awanyonye. <laughs> Awanyonye. Not be smart, you know. So money, free money is not flowing again. And now he has started crying. So quick money syndrome is the thing that is affecting us in Nigeria. We want to make money overnight. Was you should show signs of concern by telling the thief and the forward knife spraying money on him in his show every time. Bondo, bondo, bondo to stop. Yes. Ask your family member or friends how things be for America. They will tell you things are not easy all over the world. It is a global crisis not peculiar to Nigeria alone. The only difference is when you work hard here, you can be able to pay your bills, not the kind of money Nigeria's guys are spraying on was you in his show. Can you imagine? We are talking about how Nigeria could take it. We are talking about what is happening in America and all over the world. Kwam one is crying now because things have turned differently from what he thought. He was tribalistic, very myopic for Tinubu at the beginning, but now the song has changed. He needs to, you know, rewrite his song. So it is high time President Bola Tinubu reversed whatever hard decisions that are causing this hardship in Nigeria. Okay, we, his ardent supporters, are already being overwhelmed by shame. A word is enough for our uh, dear Ashwaju. May I plead with the amiable First Lady, Senator Loremi Tinubu, to please lend her voice to this call to Mr. President. My love for Mr. President is the reason for this comment. I really pray he listens. <laughs> you never say anything. You go hear her. John go don't mature. <laughs> Lord. Eh? He did receive billions from everywhere. Renewed hope indeed. I'm smart, you know. Saying a renewed hope agenda. This is the renewed hope that uh, he promised. I pity Nigerians and I pity people that are very myopic. Hmm. So that is what is happening here. Um, Kwam Wan, our Siwa Yinde, is now tired and is now crying. And a lot of people now, like one comment, comment that was made here, that uh, the ardent supporters are now overwhelmed with shame because it's not what they thought that is happening now. They are being disappointed. Nigerians are disappointed. The supporters are disappointed. And Tinubu doesn't seem to be listening to anybody. Quite an unfortunate situation. I must tell you the truth. Not be smart. Not be only when one they cry. Almost all the Ecuadorians are crying. In fact, the truth is that the Yorubas are more hungry now than any other tribe in Nigeria. The Igbos are quiet. The Igbos are buying and selling. The amount they buy is the amount they will sell. It is you that will buy and you will pay. That is it. And they make their profit and they move on. You that has nothing, you will spend a salary to buy. If the man will go and import it, how much import is how much you will sell. That is it. So this is a very difficult one now. I tell you that uh, <laughs> we thought Buhari was the worst. Now we have seen. We, we never knew that we hadn't seen it all. We have seen a different chapter now. So thank you for listening and uh, let's have your comments.